Melody and I have arrived at Catalina State Park in Tucson, Arizona. Let's go check it out. As you enter Catalina State Park, the admission fee is $7 if you're not camping overnight. And they have a, a, a little gift shop in the Welcome Center as well. So the Welcome Station as you enter the park is right there. And the first thing you notice is this spectacular mountain range. So, let's go up and check out Catalina State Park. So, I'm right at the entrance of the Loop B camping loop. And while I'm walking in here, I wanted to tell you a little bit about what's outside the entrance to Catalina State Park. You have a large shopping complex. It's got a Super Walmart in there, Petco, all kinds of different stores. So you have shopping right outside of the park. This is the entrance to Loop B. Looks like campsites are $30 a night. All sites have electric and water. Let's go check it out. Here in Loop B, I'll be showing you preferred campsites. These are campsites that I'd want to come back to camp in. I'm only going to show you the best campsites. Let's get to it. So as you enter Loop B, I like how they have these sites labeled. Um, back in sites in this, this portion, there's like three different tiered loops in Loop B or Campground B. Back in sites in that loop. In this loop here within Campground B is are the pull-through sites. And then the outer loop are again back in sites. Looks like that's site number one. You can get your rig level in that site. That's a keeper. And that's your view. Site number two is also going to be a keeper. Look at that backdrop outside of your door. Site number three in this outer loop in the B campground. This is site number three. It's going to be a keeper. And since it's not occupied, let's take a closer look at the electric hookup. There's your water spigot. It does not have sewer. I believe this park has two dump stations. We'll check those out. It has both 30 and 50 amp electric hookups. There's your picnic table. Very long sight. But check out that view. Wow. Site number three going down the book, Catalina State Park, folks. And that's a final look back at site number three going down the book. I have to say, there's not a bad site on this outer, outer loop. That's site four with the white van in it. This is site five. Both of those are keepers, folks. Site seven and site six are also keepers. That's site seven there. This is site six. I don't think this has ever happened before where I've had so many consecutive sites that were uh, in my best campsite list. Um, whoever laid this park out did a very good job. The sites are flat. Uh, the tree, the trees that you do have along the campsites uh, don't obstruct your awnings or your overhead clearance. This is site eight. Site eight, also a keeper, folks. Site nine, also a keeper. So as you progress around this outer loop on the other end, you're not gonna have a mountain view from your seating area. So I'm pretty much ruling those out. But I am gonna take a walk back up in the pull-through sites and give you a few of these pull-through sites that I'd wanna come back to camp. And in this building is the shower house and restroom facility. Let me take you in and show you around. So in the restrooms, you have flush toilets and uh, you even have some handicapped seating, showers, hot showers. There's no 
another shower in here. The facilities are clean, but it's nice they have flush toilets and hot showers in here. And then you have a sink area. Okay, I wasn't impressed with most of the pull-through sites, but this one I am going to put down in the book. Let's go up and take a look at the hookup. This is going to be your, your view from your seating area. Not a bad view. You're looking out over a couple other loops. This is going to be 30, 50 amp electric hookup. There's your water spigot. This is uh, site number 22, folks. Site number 22 going down in the book, Catalina State Park Campground. Well, I'm going to have to check some of the hiking opportunities out in the state park uh, later this afternoon. This, uh, this mountain range of the Santa Catalina Mountains looks pretty interesting. Uh, I would stay here in my RV just for the opportunity to hike up in those mountains. Uh, this is Campground A, folks. And, oh, it does have some electric sites. Electric and non-electric. I guess Campground B was all electric. So, let's go check out Campground A. So, it looks like generators are permitted 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. in Campground A. That pull-through site off to my right has a little bit too much of a slant on it for my liking. I want to show you is... Uh, it lays out for you the non-electric campsites in the in campground A. So uh, you have double numbers. Site B had a, a a campsite number three as well. Well, this is campsite number three in campground A, and uh, it's a keeper, folks. There's your backdrop. Looks like campsite four has electric and water hookups, and it's also a keeper. I walk this entire outer loop in Campground A and I can't recommend a single site There's for one reason or the other. So Melody and I and Milo came up to the picnic area and there are uh, restrooms here at the picnic area, flush toilets. Very clean. And what I want to do is show you Catalina State Park map. These are the two parking or the uh, campground that we have checked out. The first uh, campground was Campground B, second campground, Campground A. We're right up here at the picnic area right now. Um, they have some ruins here. Melody and I are going to go down and check out these ruins down along here. And they have a trail that goes up the canyon. Um, it's labeled RC. And this is Romero Canyon in Park, 1.2 miles. It's fairly flat. So we're going to check out a little bit more of Catalina State Park. And on the way out, I will show you the dump station. Well, Melody and I and Milo going to start the Romero Ruin Trail. No idea what this is about, but I suspect we're about to find out. And look at that scenery. Well, we're making our way out the Romero Ruin Trail, and it looks like we even have Saguaro in between us and the mountain range. Ah, those are these mountains do not get old. I really want to stay here. This place is awesome. The campground looked nice. This trail is amazing. And best part is it's dog friendly. So Milo, lead the way, buddy. Come on, take us on the trail. So these ruins are classified as an archaeological site. Oh, the trail's pretty cool. 
This is the trail we just came up on this ruined trail. And it takes you up on this little berm and it is quite scenic. Look at that. That is pretty, pretty scenery. There's Melody making friends. Pause a minute, just take it in. So glad we came out to the state park this morning. Wow, I, I really didn't expect this type of scenery on a ruins walk. The ruins trail. This has exceeded our expectations. My little buddy. <sighs> yeah, here's a ruin. A legend of the lost mission of Cairo. few photographs and clips of the Romero Canyon Trail. I have a pretty good view of the wash from up here, going up the canyon. <sighs> Onward we go. This canyon trail surely does not disappoint. So as you make your way up Romero Canyon Trail, you come to a fork, there'll be a sign here. And then <clears throat> you actually cross from Catalina State Park into the Bighorn Sheep Management Area. Bighorn Sheep Management Area. But that's beyond the scope of this video, folks. And it says in the fine print, no dogs allowed on the Romero Canyon Trail past National Forest Boundary. Mile is with us today, so we're turning around. way out they have a dump station. I think I'm gonna leave it here. I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile in the written video description on YouTube. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.